We're here today to try and ask Minister Dara O'Brien to refuse the hair coursing licences for the 2023-2024 season. Hair coursing is still legal in Ireland, unfortunately, and we're one of the last countries in the world that hasn't outlawed it yet, and it's about time that the Minister realised that the Irish people want a ban on hair coursing and they have to listen and act on the wishes of the people. It's cruel, it's archaic, it's no longer acceptable to be capturing a wild animal and then terrorising the animal for sport, entertainment and money. It's a gambling industry at the end of the day too. The Irish hair is a protected species. It's different from the European hair, which is why it's protected, but there is an exemption in the law which allows hairs to be used, abused and killed for the sake of coursing. This has to be changed. Hair coursing has to be outlawed. It can't continue and we're hoping that the ministers listen to us today because we do represent the majority, not the minority, and it needs to stop. The decision on the licence is going to be made sometime this week. So far, the ministers have not indicated which way they're going to go. They're likely they're going to bow to pressure to the hair courses, which aren't the minority, so it doesn't make sense. Uh, there's been some great arguments put forward in the doll why the licences should not be granted. There are two bills in government, one which was proposed by Paul Murphy, People Before Profit, um, in 2020, which seeks to ban hair coursing, and one that was proposed a couple of weeks ago by Jennifer Whitmore from the Social Democrats, which aims to protect hairs fully as a species and prohibit the licensing of hair coursing. So we have two bills seeking the one goal, and we have a short window of time now before the doll goes into summer recess to try and get the ministers to just block these applications once and for all. Blood sports enthusiasts from the UK come over and attend these events, bet on these events. Blood sports enthusiasts from other countries where their countries many years ago have banned these industries. So we can't be offering a market for animal abuse tourism. And that's what it is. As part of our campaign, we have been traveling the length and breadth of the country since 2020 to highlight this issue, raise awareness with the general public. We've been to every county in the country multiple times. We protest the Department of Agriculture every single week. And to date, we have distributed at least 150,000 leaflets to the Irish public. And wherever we go, we get nothing but support. So that tells us everything we need to know about where the Irish public stand on this issue. They are fully behind a ban on hair coursing and fox hunting too. Ireland's against blood sports. It's just the government that needs to catch up.